Good morning. Hi guys. Okay, I'm sorry that I'm doing it at this time. Normally, I do my videos at 10 o'clock every weekday. However, this morning, for some reason, I couldn't get Facebook to connect. Um, so, you missed out on the video. So, I did it on Instagram anyway. However, I just thought I'd have another go and luckily it's working. Hello. So I'm quickly doing the um, demonstration of what I did this morning. So it's the same if you've already seen it on Instagram. It's a really quick one and I'm just doing it because lots of people seem to be loving it. I'm getting lots of fan mail. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do it so that if you're having a day in the garden, it's something you can do with your little one. So as you know, Tusspot Tuesday, um, I'm always using Tusspots. However, for this one, it's not essential. So don't worry if you don't have a Tusspot. And just a word of warning actually, while the weather is so hot outside, if you're like me and have a black tough spot, please be really careful. They are getting ever so hot if they're left out in the sun. So always touch it, always put your hand on it and feel it before you put your little ones on there because it could really burn their skin. It's amazing how hot they get. So either have it stored under a parasol or when you're not using it, move it into the shade or stand it up or something because they do get crazy hot. Anyway, so it's a nice easy one today. So um, I've just got, these are the odds and ends of my chunky chalks. You can get outdoor chunky chalks in loads of different shops. Pound shops have really good ones. I always get mine from um, BM stores. They have a great art section. They're really big and chunky. And chunky chalks are great for little hands, trying to get their hands around them and trying to grab hold of them. Hello everyone that's tuning in. You'll have to give me a wave. Let me see who's there, who's watching today. Um, bit later than normal I couldn't get Facebook to work this morning but I didn't want you missing out on the activity today so grab yourself some of your chunky chalks these are all at odds and ends you can see how well loved they've been and the idea is really easy is that you just cover good morning Vicky is that you just cover your tough spots you can see it's really scrubby but you just lie it on its side and you literally just color in your tough spot you could do all sorts of colours, you could do rainbow if you wanted, you could do actual pictures, you could do numbers and letters, anything you want to. All I'm doing is just cutting it in. I see I'm just doing it really quickly. It's all nice and blue, I've just done a nice blue one. And then the fun bit begins. So you could do that, or you could get your little ones to do it, and or have the chalks on the side so they can do it when, when it comes to their turn. And then the idea is, alongside your tough spot, have your tough spot on the floor, preferably out in the garden, under a parasol or something, have it flat on the floor because then the idea is for you to have a look around your house and you'll be amazed at how many brushes you have. Look for a variety of brushes. You could use sponges for this one. However, brushes are, are much better for this activity because this one is all about getting your children physical. It's about building up their core strength, building up their muscles for later on in life when they're going to be using those muscles for doing writing. So it's helping them to learn how to use their bodies and control. So I've got loads of different brushes in here from the kitchen, the washing up brush to an old pastry brush or a paint brush. Um, I've even got like a nail brush here, so it's got a funny handle. Even the old brushes from, um, from your vacuum cleaner, the adapters that I never use. Um, dust pan and brush, brush, floor brush, any types of brush, nice to have a variety. Toothbrush as well, hairbrush, um, even a big sweeping brush would work great with this. And it's so easy because the idea is, is if you have a little pump bottle, this is like an old soap dispenser, a little pump bottle or just a little bowl of soapy water or something like that, you only need a tiny bit of water. I'm just pouring it on because my pump's not working on this one. A uh, tiny bit on the brush. And then the idea is, is that the court children can just have a good play and can clean the tough spot. And it's nice because having the colour on the background gives them something to clean. But the idea with this one is the main focus is actually getting your children to do the cleaning. So by having brushes in lots of different ways, they can use their bodies and scrub and clean in different ways. And I really like this one because they can hold it with both hands and they can clean, clean, clean and using all their muscles around here, really good for strengthening the core. And especially if it's laid on the floor, it's all about the balance as well because they'll be kneeling and they can scrub, 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 and they're doing some really, what we call gross motor movements. So it's using all of their body. They're really moving their body and they put loads of effort into it because they're cleaning and they can see that it's having an effect on the tough spot. And what's quite nice is by having different ones, like a little toothbrush, it's much smaller movement, so they're using it in a different way. And something like this, which is like a nail brush, um, are brilliant because again, they're holding it different ways. But if they put a brush in, in both hands, they, you can actually, I really like you to encourage that your children 
to make lines going up and down, using both arms, going up and down, going round and round in circles. It could do circles in both ways or in different ways. And it's all those amazing big movements that are really great for their body. Really good at strengthening um, all their muscles and also it helps them to understand what their body can do. So it's really physical, really great. Put some loud music on, have some nice loud music. Some ones where it's, um, and classical music is great for this. Um, ones that have a really quick beat, one that they're moving quite fast, get them to draw to the music, or something that's quite slow and get them to do slow movements to it. It can be loads of fun out in the garden. And just get them to clean the tough spot. And just by having a little bit of water nearby, they can even have the chalks as well. They can have a little go on it. They can play, play, play outside under the parasol and they can clean, clean, clean without realising that they're practising using all the muscles in their body. Brilliant exercise for them and also great for when they're older and uh, they're expected to be able to sit at the table and write and use pencils and tools and things like that. It all really helps. So that's it for today's activity. I told you it was a short and sweet one, didn't I? So just a nice basic tuss spot. If you don't worry if you don't have a tuss spot, um, the chunky chalks work really well on like a shed or on decking or on if you've got paving stone or something like that or even on a brick wall. Works really well because you're just washing it off. They come off with water. Um, get a few brushes, old paint brushes, anything like that and let them scrub, scrub, scrub away and it's nice to know you know how much it's helping their body uh, and their physical development and they just think that they're playing and cleaning and no doubt they'll then be looking for other things to clean in the garden so get them on the furniture in the windows and all sorts uh, so that's it today just a really quick and easy one i'm sorry that you missed the 10 o'clock slot for some reason facebook just didn't want to work for me today however i'm glad that i managed to catch you live now um so this will be saved on the page if you missed it all right, I hope that helps. Happy playing. If you do manage to have a go in the garden with this activity, please send me your photos. I've got loads of lovely ones coming in and it's really nice to see the little ones uh, playing around with the brushes. And it's nice, while it's so hot as well, just that little bit of water just it can be really refreshing for them. So have loads of fun. Enjoy playing in the garden. Please stay safe. Um, and thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow for Roleplay Wednesday. Bye guys. Thank you.